what we need to do to this differential equation to model a slightly different beam. Uh, so how the modeling process actually helps us, right? So the first part is that we understand that differential equations are there for us. It's just a tool, just like an app. You use an app to do certain things. Just like that, differential equations are there and we can model the physical or otherwise related behaviors with respect to space or time uh, using differential equations. And once we model the behavior of a parameter using differential equations, then we are interested in solving those differential equations. Why? Because we have modeled a physical quantity using differential equation and there would be no use of that differential equation unless it gives us some other information about the same physical system, you can say. That information is retrieved by solving the differential equation, right? So although this course is mathematics intensive and you can, uh, mostly we'll be doing maths, uh, but the essence, the spirit behind all of that is that we would like to model physical quantities using mathematics, which is differential equation in this case. And then we would like to retrieve some information about that physical system using those mathematical equations, which are differential equations. So in order to retrieve that information, we would like to solve the differential equations using uh, standard mathematical procedures like integration, differentiation, uh, which leads me to uh, a very important point which must be mentioned and that is that you should have sufficient knowledge from calculus. You should know how to differentiate algebraic equations or how to uh, integrate an algebraic function because these are two things which are frequently done in this course. I expect that you know both of these things and how to manipulate logarithms or exponents or because all of these things are covered in the previous course which is calculus the textbook is differential equations with boundary value problem we will only have a final exam and we will have quizzes and we will have assignments and i'll be doing online lectures just like this one and i will also be recording the lectures and i will be sending you links to those lectures so there are, I can say, three major parts of this course. The first major part is first order differential equations. The second part is second order or higher order differential equations. And similarly, the third part is what we can say unconventional methods of solving differential equations, any type, first or second order, right? But there is something on top of all of these things, and that is the applied side. We will be, you know, involving applied side to any of these areas. So I'll be sending you this uh, course outline. This is the book, uh, Differential Equations by Zill and Cullen. So you would immediately see that the first page of the book is review of differentiation. This is kind of a, a help sheet kind of thing that you should always keep on your side. Second page, brief table of integral. The book is very well written in my opinion, so easy to read, but sometimes the explanation may not be that obvious, uh, so that's, that's where I come in and uh, I'll be trying to make sense of that text as much as possible because there are, uh, we have to read between the lines and there, there is so much that needs to be read between the lines this, uh, in this course. And similarly, just to keep yourself motivated, always Tell yourself, I may forget to tell you every time that what we are doing is this thing represents, and let me show you that this thing represents a physical model. Like for example, if you're standing on a building and you throw a stone to, towards the ground, all of this process, the which leaves this point and reaches this point, the, the distance of this stone from the starting point is modeled using this equation, y double prime equal to g. So y double prime is the thing which makes this equation a differential equation. And where did this differential equation come? It came from the modeling of a physical process of a stone falling from top of a building and reaching down to the bottom of that building. Similarly, 
a parachute the velocity of a parachute because parachute is something very complex it's not like uh, falling uh, uh, stone it is an object a mass which is falling down but there is air which is acting on the parachute and it is preventing the falling object to fall very quickly it is slowing down its falling velocity which is v right so now we see that the velocity is changing so all of this system is modeled using this equation now we can see a prime here v prime which is a derivative of v so we say that uh, this is a differential equation which is a result of a physical process now because this has suddenly become from this example it has become slightly more difficult so you will be thinking about will i be asked to model a physical process into a differential equation so the answer to that is that is not entirely our job because the physicist is responsible to help us model the process into differential equation similarly a person from this background who knows how fluids work how fluids uh, obtain a different shape and volume will help us in knowing that if a water level is decreasing due to a hole at the bottom of the tank the differential equation which governs this process is this one similarly we have so many other cases like a spring mass this is very famous there is a mass which is attached to a spring and when you pull this mass and you release this mass it starts oscillating and uh, if you apply very small force if you pull it to a very slight uh, distance it will it may not even oscillate it may just simply go uh, from you know from the bottom to a midpoint and simply go to rest there but if you pull it with more force it will start oscillating or oscillating and then at some point in time it will stop oscillating who came up with this again the person from physics who told us that this is the differential equation which, tru which truly represents the change in position of this mass beats of a vibrating system you observe vibrations all the time in your cars in other stuff similarly electric circuits electric circuits are also modeled using differential equation there are different physical problems that uh, we can model into a, a differential equation so again the modeling process like the deflection of a beam is not discussed it's a fourth order differential equation this is not discussed in detail we take the already existing model and we simply tailor that model to our different uh, problems that we come across so for example i give you a new beam to work with which doesn't exactly look like this but slightly looks like this so what i'll be telling you is i'll be explaining to you that what i need to do to this uh, what we need to do to this differential equation to a uh, model a slightly different beam in order to see the deflection in that beam due to its own weight or an uh, some other weight which is on top of this uh, beam right this is uh, the modeling process similarly if we know the basis of how the, the circuit is modeled into different this differential equation we will be able to model different electric circuits into differential equations and we will learn how to do that right so this was the so as soon as we get this differential equation the second part was we want to solve this differential equation to get some you know useful information out of it so that uh, uh, the modeling process can be justified so this is our uh, course uh, uh, let me just stop over here and not go into even more detail because on your part i strongly urge you to stay in touch with everything which which is you know your peers your instructor your book all the material that you, it is given to you and again uh, i i will be repeating at least at least this rule of thumb that please whatever topic we discuss please go to the book and try to solve the first two or three examples from the book which of course i i will also be explaining in the in the in the videos or lectures or whatever also solve one or two or three based on your own uh, stamina the uh, end problems of that topic that we that we have discussed so if you are really really 
uh, you know following this schedule and you are on a daily basis or on, on a weekly basis you are uh, doing examples and problems from the book there is no way that you lose your grade at all very easy to get an a grade i i assure you but of course this is not something everyone is able to do that they regularly do that but please try uh, at least uh, tell yourself this that you are going to do that at least try to do that right so okay, see you inshallah